everyone. I really still like my Happy Planner cover, but I'm kind of concerned about it getting damaged if I bring it places. And that's kind of holding me back from bringing it around to the places that I need to bring it to. So today I'm going to be making a fabric Happy Planner cover. I'm going to make it myself instead of buying one because I'm trying to save money. And I'm going to share with you how I'm going to be doing this. For this, you're going to need pins, a sewing machine, an elastic band, and you'll also need some fabric. For this project, I'm just using scraps that I already had, and I have one five and a half by 11, a seven inch by 11 piece of fabric, two eight inches by 11 pieces of fabric, two 11 by 18 and a quarter inches of fabric pieces. So the first thing that you want to do is cut out your pieces of fabric. You'll probably want to iron them if they're a little bit wrinkled. And then fold it over so that you have about half an inch to a quarter of an inch for the seam. And then you're going to pin it. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine. Ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you. Now I'm going to sew here on this folded piece of fabric. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the power. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends So I'm going to want to lay out my pockets and see how to arrange them Make me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends you are not you want to make sure that they are lined up as you are laying out your pieces so that when you sew them together they will catch. So the idea behind these pockets is that you would have two covers so I'm going to be using the back cover for my happy planner and then I also have an additional cover to kind of make this sturdier and I'll just slip in here and then slip into this part and then you can keep your original cover on if you want to or you could take that off depending on whatever you prefer maybe put like a dashboard here but this is the two additional covers though are to just keep the fabric cover sturdier. My friends, you are nothing like them. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. How'd you do? And then I'm going to sew just right up to the edge to attach all of these pockets to the backing material. have made sure that all of your pockets are secure they've been caught by 
the needle, you can place the cover facing upward and your pockets facing downward. And you're going to be sewing around the edges here and then, but leaving a gap. You'll want to leave a gap about four to five inches, somewhere in the, either at the bottom, in the middle, or up here. And you're gonna use to flip the cover inside out with. So remember to include that hole. And we will set that part up later on. Make sure that the piece that you want to go on the back is facing the pocket that goes on the back side and the piece that you want on the front is facing the pocket that's on the front side of your cover, inside front of the cover, and then you're going to pin it into place. This person that you so admire. Now we could have simply sewed all these pieces at the, the pockets into place at the same time as the other cover, but because it's very important that the pockets are attached and do not come off, I added in this step of sewing around first, making sure that they're secure, and then sewing on around an additional time to attach the front cover. And you can cut all these little strings off, but because this is being flipped inside out, you don't really have to worry about them. cover inside out. You left a five inch gap here down at the bottom so you can easily just go through and pull it through to the other side. It'd be helpful to have some scissors nearby so you can poke up the corners. gap on the bottom here because I'm going to need to um, stitch this back close and I'd prefer that stitch to be on the bottom than at the top but it really doesn't matter depending on whatever your preference is. But before you sew it up you want to double check that your sizing is all right and that your happy planner fits. And now you're ready to place your planner into the planner cover. So first I'm sliding in my cover into this pocket. And then I'm attaching the reins back onto the cover. And then to keep it close, I have this little piece of elastic with a flower hot glued onto where the knot is to keep the cover closed. You can also sew on your own closure onto here and maybe use either Velcro or Snap to keep it closed. But for my purposes, I think that a an elastic band will work just fine. And another idea is to sew a pen loop onto the side here. So 
after you've placed your planner into your planner cover, you can use these pockets on the side to store things like your extra planner stickers. You can put post-it notes in here. And then you can store your elastic band on the side here when your planner cover is over. So I hope this video gave you some ideas for maybe a gift idea for a friend who likes to plan or for your own planner to protect the cover from getting damaged. If you'd like to see more planner ideas, please check out my Instagram at personalizemyplanner and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye! I'm